Hey, sis, no. that book you got, right? Right. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right. Watch, right. This, right. watch this. Watch this. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Watch Because now you're reading this book. Guaranteed, you've read something in that book that already contradicted this book. Right. Am I right or am I wrong? Be honest. Some per se, something like Have that. you read that book? No, I, I don't need to read it. All I gotta do is look at the cover. Look at him. That's he looks right. like a little kitty cat. That's right. He looks like a little. He looks, matter of fact, he looks just like you from the nose down. Right. Sister, you look just like you from the nose down. What's the difference? What's the difference? Because they don't have a beard. Let, 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 we're gonna read it. They don't have a beard. The Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve and verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Go to go a verse up. Watch this, sis. Twelve and verse twelve. And further, by these, my son, be admonished uh -huh. of making many books. Of doing what? Making many books. Be admonished or corrected, sister, of making many books that go against or contrary to this book. Let, right. Just listen, just listen, just listen. There is no end. Because guess what? He made a book. Creflo made a book. Um, Joel Osteen is going to make a book. Now T.D. J. is going to... Just listen, just listen. Everybody has a book to sell to you and make money off of you that's, right. that's going against this book. That's, that's Read it again. Right. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Be corrected, sister. Read. Of making many books. Oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Hey, excuse me, sir, what book have you got now? What, what book is that? What book is that? Can, can, just show, just show, show right here, show right here. What does it say? We're all doing time. You ain't, if you're doing time, I, if you're, you're doing time, I'm on this earth. If you're doing time, you are a loser. Hey, That's right. Hey, 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 hey. You mean to tell me a white man's doing time in America? Bring it up. Bring it up. White supremacy running rampant around here? Bring it up. Are you yoga. kidding me? It's yoga. Let's, let's pat, it's yoga. They go, yoga they go to witchcraft. Spirituality. Okay. Spirituality, right. What did we read about the what, what's spiritual? The law of God is spiritual. Yes, right. 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 Let's just listen. And further and, by and these. Notice what he did. He pushed it right in his sister's face. Right. That's he right. He pushed it right in her face. Hey, sister, look at this. You understand? No, 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 no. She know what she, we want to hear what the Bible got us. That's right. right. We don't right. need that book around here. Go ahead. And further by these, my son, be admonished. Of, be corrected. That's what admonished means. Be corrected, read. Of making many books. We don't want it. We don't care about that book, and we don't care about that book. That's right. Read. There is no end. There is no end because somebody's new is gonna make a book, another book after these books to make money off of you. That's right. Read. And much study is a weariness of flesh. And much study of all these other books is weariness of the flesh. Why is it weariness of the flesh? Because now you're taking time out of reading that and not reading. This yeah, book. Right. You understand, sis? I do read Say the Bible. Again. I read the Bible, but y'all always. I've been out here for a while, and I can get school, but y'all teach yourself. But y'all don't teach the black women's not to perm their hair, and they perm their hair. You said, hair wait, wait, wait. You said we don't teach black women to perm, not to perm their hair. Right. Is that now? You don't supposed to perm your hair. According to what law? Well, it's supposed to be natural. You're supposed to have natural. According hair. to what law? Give me the law. No, no, no. Are you? Are you? Now you've been to our school. Yes. Now I'm asking you. Do you think you have enough knowledge now that you've been to our school a couple times to combat, to I'm, combat us or I'm something? I'm not combat, I'm just saying that. Now, just because you haven't personally heard us say um, not to, black women not to perm their hair or whatever, does that mean we haven't done it? No. So what are you talking about? I'm Maybe asking. you should add, no, that you didn't ask. You made a statement. Correct. You didn't ask us. Correct. You made a statement. We have plenty of videos Correct. about sisters not 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 um damaging their hair and loving their woolly hair. That's right. We are playing. Just because you haven't seen it, you can't tell us we haven't done it. Correct. So be admonished. Read it again. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Read. Of making many books. Read. There is no end. There is no end. Read. And much study is a weariness of flesh. Much study is weariness of the flesh because guess what? In your mind. You're going to have some of that book, and it's going to combat some of this. That's and then it causes you to be confused. That's and right. you're going to, I'm not talking about you personally, okay? I'm talking about people in general. You're going to spew what you know. You heard a little something out of that, that demon's book, you're going to spew it out there. You understand? Give me James 1 and 8. Give me James 1 and 8. 
So we got to come back to what the Bible says. Right. To hell right. with every other book on the earth. Because guess what? I guarantee you this book, right? It says the truth about men. So give us something about that book. Yeah. What have you read in that book? About the, What is the truth about men? You tell us. I, I don't know. You Have you read have the book yet? I have read, so I'm only So give two. us something of what you've read about the truth about all these brothers here. Give, a, give us something out that book that about these men. About the, the men in, in general? In the book, from the book. book. I only just got a, a chapter two. Okay, so what have you learned in the two chapters? Nothing really right now. So what's he talking about? He basically talking about how men should control their lustful ways and be disciplined. I'm going to give you a little secret. I'm going to give you two sisters a little secret. These black men with these smooth-faced pastors... They are preying on you. You know, let me Amen. finish. Look, you're ready to talk already. Notice this is just listening. I'm listening. Here's why I say that. Here's why. These men, these evil black men right here on that cover of that book, they know where their money base is. That's, right. That's why everything's everything's geared towards women. The same way Tyler Perry, he gives all his movies towards who? Why does he do that? Why does he give all his movies towards the women? Bring it up. Because he knows that's where the money is. Y'all right. women spend money on everything that looks or feels good. That's, right. that's what y'all are consumers, man. Amen. They're using you. Amen. Y'all don't know this by now? Get a clue. Y'all just got to get a clue. Read it. James chapter 1 and verse 8. Bring it up. A double-minded man. A double-minded man. What causes somebody to be double-minded? Well, I'm going to believe a little of uh, the Bible. Then I'm going to believe a little bit of that book. Then I'm going to get a little spirituality out of that book. You're going to be confused, double-minded. Read it again. A double-minded man Read. is unstable in all his ways. Just like Ali over there with the Ouija board. <laughs> Unstable. You understand? We can't be like that no more. You understand? You got something to say, sis? Amen. Yes, ma'am. So what if... Amen. And then I'm going to ask y'all, I'm going to switch topics real quick. Go ahead, sis. I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up reading the Bible. I didn't grow up. Me know, either. In the, I didn't grow up in the in churches and everything like that. But I, Good. I just, I, with that being said, I just joined the church. You know, it's my, um, okay. I just joined the church. Uh, so, so, come, just, come closer, sis. I can't hear you. I just joined the church. And, yes, ma'am. Um, so we read all of the King James Version. Okay. But um, I don't want to say I'm double mad because I read. You know, I read, I try to read different, different versions. versions of the Bible. Okay, now I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna get your. I'm gonna show you why. Somebody pull up the NIV. Who got the NIV app on their phone? Anybody? Pull up. All right. Here's what I want you to do, sis. Go to. You got the NIV on your phone? I want you to pull up the NIV version. Y'all got smartphones? I'm gonna show y'all why these Bibles are trash compared to the King James. Go to. I only listen to King. I only read okay. King James. All right. I don't Go listen. To, knew it. Go to Matthew's chapter. I want y'all to pull it up if you, if you can. I'm going to show you something heavy. Go to Matthew chapter 18. And, and, and the, no, the NIV. NIV. Anybody? Just, just, just Google it. Google it. Go, go to Google and type in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 11 in the NIV. Anybody got it? Who got it? Who's the first to get it? Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Then we're going to get into Passover. What is the Passover about? Because that, guess what? That's your culture, if That's you didn't what? know. That's Passover what? is your culture, what? not Easter. Who, who celebrates Easter out here? Celebrate Easter? You want it red? Why not? I mean, did you grow up celebrating? You grew up celebrating, grew up celebrating something, yeah, right? We, we all grew up celebrating yeah, Easter. I did, no, I grew up celebrating yeah. Easter. Yeah. Okay, I mean, but you stopped. Why did you stop? Because it's bullshit. You said it's BS. What about you, sis? Do you still celebrate Easter? Um, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. You, know. you got kids? I do. So are the kids upset when they don't celebrate Easter? Um, no, because they're older. When they were younger, oh, okay. when they were younger I did. You, did you get it? Matthew's 18 and 11? Um, so Who got it? Who got it? Anybody got it? You got it, sis? Carmela, you got it? Show, show the sister right here. So this is the reason... Yeah, right at 11? Yeah, read verse 11. Matthews 18 and 11 in the NIV. Oh, see that you do not despise one of those. Oh, you got it? That's wrong. Yes, sir. The book of no, Matthew. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. With the sister, yes, sir. <laughs> Go to Matthew 18 and 10. Read Matthew 18 and 10, sis. See that you do not despise one of those. Oh, 
he not jumped the gun. One of these ones, so that <laughs> no, that's not verse 10. That's verse 10? Go ahead, read it, verse 10. Go ahead. Go to verse 10. Read verse 10, nice and loud. Uh-huh. You got it? Where's verse 10? We can't find it up here. Yeah, it didn't give me, it didn't yeah. it wait a minute. It we all, we all laugh. Wait, 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 come say it on the mic, brother. What? <laughs> it told me it wasn't in there. It's not in there. It's not there. These other Bibles take things out. That's right. That's They're right. incomplete. That's right. In, in the NIV, it goes to Matthew 18 and 10, yep. and it skips to verse 12. And that's not the only verse. That's not the only Bible. ESV does stuff like that too. So does the um the um, Jehovah Witness one, the NJ NJV, something like that. Watch this. The Book of Matthew, chapter eighteen and verse eleven. For the Son of Man, for the Son of Man is Christ, Jesus the Christ. That's right. Is come. Jesus Christ is come. Christ came for something, right? Did he just come for anything, just to lally gag and chill? No, he came for something, right? What did he come for? To save. To save. To bring salvation. That which is lost. Which was minute. lost. It says Christ came to save that which was lost. That's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Sir. Who's lost on the planet Earth today? Come look at the sign. Who, does, who needs saving? Right. Come look at the sign. Who ain't got no land? Bring who ain't out. got no military? Bring it out. Who ain't got their own currency? Bring it out! Who's not a sovereign? Right. Who don't have a seat in the United Nations? Who? Who needs, wait a minute, who needs, who's getting shot down in the streets? By the cops, on camera, off camera? Who's that? Who needs saving? Hmm. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Bring it Let's go on. We all do. Say it again. Oh, we, we all do. Hold on a minute. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Polish. Polish! Sister, what's your nationality? African American. Ah, oh, you see the problem here? Absolutely. You're named after two yeah. white men. Yeah. But he said he's Polish. He didn't say I'm American. He knows where his culture's from. Bring it out. Where's your culture, sis? <laughs> yeah, I am in Thank God. In other words, <laughs> you only know slavery. Yeah. Bring it Why out. is that? Because his father's murdered, lynched, and burn yours. Give me that. Bring it out. Man. No, that one. Southern Kingdom. Over there. That's why. Because of slavery, sis, they took everything from us and turned us into dark skinned white people. That's Bring it out. Am I lying on my right, brother? That's what their fathers did to us. Russians, now, say it again, sir. The Russians enslaved yeah, yeah, enslaved yeah. my, you're my, gonna, my, you're my Polish people. You're going to give me World people. War II, right? No. You're going to give me World War I, World War no. II. Stalin no. and them, right? No. The Bolsheviks. My right? ancestors uh -huh. were in Poland. Uh huh. And the Russians enslaved my people. Okay. Aww. We should have some mercy for that. Some pity for you. What the hell is this? The Russians. Oh, they're so wicked. Listen, we're not here to bring you white on white crime. We don't give a damn about white on white. That's, that's right. our issue. That's one white nation against another. Right. We talk about what white people did to our people. That's and that's right. in the Bible. Bring it out. What your forefathers did to mine is in the Bible. That's right. And we're going to read it. Watch it. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said. So, Christ, this is Christ speaking. He answered and said what? I am not sent. Now, stop. Remember, we just read that Christ was sent to those that are lost, right? right. Let's see who the lost are that Christ is talking about. Bring it out. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, Wait a minute. Right. Christ out of his own mouth. Is Christ lying? No, Christ is not a liar. He said, I'm only sent to the Israelites. That's These right. people need saving. Bring These people are at the bottom wherever they go. Well, remember, this scattered throughout the whole earth. Wherever we go, we're at the bottom. Whether it's England, whether it's uh, Germany, Russia, wherever we're at, Poland, wherever we're at, we're at the bottom. That's right. Serving slavery, serving servitude. Now, give me Exodus 12. Let me ask y'all a question. Who celebrates July 4th here? I wish I had my Bible. Oh, man. I got three. You got three what? Bibles. Ooh, woo. You got three. 
All I need is one in King James Version. All right, so my question is for y'all. My question is for y'all is, did you celebrate July 4th? I did. Okay, I, I had before too. What about you? You never celebrate July 4th? No, not really. What about you? You celebrate July 4th? did a lot of dumb stuff when I was We all did. We all did. What about Memorial Day? Nothing. Okay, but listen, but have you did, done it before, right? Oh, That's yeah, the popular yeah. holiday in America, Memorial Day. Yeah. You, Memorial Day you've done, right? We've all done it. Nothing. My question to you is, those two holidays, what are they about? Um, Killing. Killing. Say it again, brother. Killing. Killing who? Us. Okay, and what about it? I don't know. What else? Give me some more. Uh, a memorial. A memorial. What does that mean, a memorial? A memorial day or what? Remember, Remember what? The day Rem remember. People who sacrificed our, their life for us. For us, huh? Yeah. For, for, for me or for you? For everybody. For Come on, sir. To keep, sir. To keep sir. America free. Sir, stop it. This ain't for me, this is for you, and you're a loser. How are you gonna be broke in America? You're white! Come on! Bring it up! Bro. Come on, man! Bring it up! Bring it up! Come on! Bring it up! I'm not broke. Oh, you're not broke, you're just acting this way, or just dressed this way. Woo woo! Couple dollars, all praises. So this so you're not broke. So good, good. So my question to you is we celebrate these things because America has sanctioned these things to remember. From way back in the 1800s, 1700s, when they conquered, when they conquered this land, and to, to memor memorialize the armies that went to war for America to be like this now that it is today. Just for, for him to walk on these tiles right here, this man right here, because under these tiles, what's under these tiles right here? Bring it up! What do you think is under these tiles? Bring it up! What do y'all think is under these tiles? Bring it up, Cap! Concrete. Want me to tell you? Somebody give me that sign right here. Somebody pass me this sign. Not you, sir. Not you, sir. I'm gonna tell you what's under these, under the gra the gravel in America. Bring the it up. bones of the North American Indians your father slaughtered. That's, That's what you're walking on top of. Yeah, you My are. My fathers did not yeah, slaughter them. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. The white man in America is still your forefathers. The That's Polish right. man and the Russians, those are still your forefathers, That's whether you right. like it or not. They're, all your forefathers come My from the Greeks and the Romans. That's you understand? Right. The Greeks and the Romans. Uh huh. Uh huh. What about it? Long before the but guess what? Your fathers are still Edomites. That's right. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, okay? Because here's what white people do: they like to classify and and. They classify themselves as Polish, Bring it up. and the Polish are different than the Germans. The Germans are different than the Russians, and the Russians are different than the Americans. No, you're all one people. That's right. Bring it up. You're all Caucasians from the Caucasus Mountains That's of Georgia. Right. That's, That's right. who you are. So when I say your fathers, I'm not saying you personally, but your daddies did the crime, That's and somebody right. gotta pay. That's, That's right. right. Read what you got. So, then, so now we're gonna get into something called Passover, yes, sir. right? What is the Passover? Because guess what? I'm gonna tell you. That's your real culture. Your culture is not July 4th, when America um, won a war in 1776 and all of that. No, that's not your culture. Your culture is not Memorial Day. That's not your day. Your day is the Passover. Does anybody know what happened on the Passover? Yes, I do. What do you know about the Passover? It was in Egypt and the Jews they took the blood of the lamb and put it over their doorstops uh -huh. so God would not terminate Kill them. Kill right? Give me verse, where we at? 12. I've give read me the verse six times. Right here, six. No, give me verse, give me verse eight. Watch Exodus. this, watch this. We're going, now we're going to learn about the Passover, all right? This is what you should be celebrating in two weeks. Bring the Lord's Passover. Right? Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something heavy. Watch this. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 8. Bring it out. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. Uh-huh. Roast with fire. This is talking about the lamb. You get a lamb? Yeah. A grill the lamb. Right? Read. And a loving bread. A loving bread and lamb. This is what you're going to eat on the Passover. Read. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Read. Eat not jump of to, it. Jump to 10. Verse 10. And ye shall... Let nothing of it remain until the morning. And they... Jump to verse 11. You, you got to eat it and let nothing remain until the morning. Watch this. Just listen close. And thus shall ye eat it. Read. With your loins girded, 
your shoes on your feet, uh -huh. and your staff in your hand, Reek. and ye shall eat it in haste. Reek. It is the Lord's Passover. We're going to find out what that word means, Passover. We're going to find out. Watch this. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night uh -huh. and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Woo! It says, the Lord said, I'm going to kill every firstborn of the oppressor on the Lord's Passover. Right. Wait a minute. I want you to just imagine every firstborn of every good white man, every good pure white man Bring it up, oh! being killed. While you're celebrating a holiday, that's what God said to do. That's right. Just imagine that going on in Atlanta. Just imagine. Just imagine Donald Trump's son, Hillary Clinton's daughter, uh, um, who else? Uh, Bernie Sanders' son, being put to death while you out celebrating, that's and there's right. nothing nobody could do about it. Right. But God said that's going to be a celebration for you. Why is that? That's that's kind of weird. I thought I thought the Bible was all loving and hunky dory games yeah. and love everything and everybody. Does that make sense? Yes. Why? Because there's a people that's oppressed that need saving. Yes, you understand? God said, listen, you're going to keep this celebration right here, right now. While you're celebrating, I'm going to start killing these oppressors over here. That's right. Keep reading. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. Read. I am the Lord. Read. And the blood shall be to you. For a token upon the house. Listen close now. It said, remember, he said, put the blood on the door, the doorpost, read. Where ye are. And when I see the blood. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. I'm gonna do what? Pass okay. over you. Pass I'm gonna do what? Pass over you. The Bible says, when I see the blood, I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna pass over and go kill those oppressors over there. At, the, at that time, the oppressors were the Egyptians. Right? right? right. Today. It's the good old white man calling oh, himself yeah. Jesus. Uh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. the oppressor today. That's right. Right? Read. Keep and reading. the blood shall not be upon you to destroy you. Read. When I smite the land of Egypt. When I smite the land of Egypt. Read. And this day shall be un unto you for a memorial. Woo! Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We there keep Memorial go. Day. We keep July 4th when America got free from Great Britain. Right. But God said, you're supposed to keep the Passover for That's memorial. Right for how long? Bring it out. Seven days. Throughout your generation. Wait, it says keep that throughout your generation. Are, are we still, are black people still generating here in America? Are we still generating? So what, is, what should you be doing? The Lord's oh, Passover. Oh, That's oh, right. Right. Yes. The, okay. it? This year is April 4th. It changes. It changes every year. April 4th. Read. Ye shall keep it. No, no, read that again. And ye shall keep. Okay. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. Uh huh. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord. You're going to keep this a feast to the Lord. God said, Remember this thing, man. Remember the beautiful work that I did for the children of Israel when you were slaves in Egypt. Where, where else were we slaves? Right here in America. We were physical, physically in, in chains. Just look down. Look down. This is what happened to us. Okay? Now, do, how do we get free? Are we free today? No, we're not free today. We're stuck in bills, debt, murdering each other, white folks murdering us, and they do what? Pass laws and policies to keep us at the bottom. That's what they do. You ever wonder how all of us just wound up in the ghettos of America? Does that make sense? How was the, most, the majority of us born in the ghettos? How did that just, did that just miraculously happen? Well, guess what? They had something called the New Deal with FDR. They had something called redlining back in the 50s and the 40s. They had, they had back in the 1800s, Jim Crow. This is how we ended up in the ghettos of America. That's right. You understand? It's by design. That's what I'm showing you, it's by design. So are we free? Hell no. No, we're not free. Give me Wisdom of Solomon 18. Where is that? Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. Watch this. I'm going to show you something heavy. Then give me Tobit. Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. Now, let me ask you all a question. In every revolution, how did the people ever get free? They had to, somebody had, in other words, somebody got to go. 
That's right. For us to be free, brothers and sisters, guess what? Some I know some of y'all, especially since don't like hearing this thing. Somebody got to go for us to be free. That's right. Your your great friend at your at your job, your Becky friend and and Susie and all Bring that. They got to go. Ned gotta go. Right. Biff gotta go. Right. Right. For me to be free, I gladly gotta take Biff out. Biff That's gotta right. go. That's right. And guess what? That's in the Bible. Watch this. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Right now, this is back when we were in Egypt. Watch this. So of thy people. So of thy people, the Israelites, was accepted. It was accepted. Something has to be accepted. Both the salvation of the righteous. We gotta we gotta accept that. We gotta accept the salvation of the righteous and what else? And destruction of the enemies. Wait a minute. The Bible says you gotta accept that thing. You want freedom? Somebody got to go. Call the government. Oh uh, uh, yeah, it's called the government. Yeah, the government. What race is that down. government? Who start? What race right. is the people that started right. that uh, government? Uh, the government's holding me down. No, no, no. My question is, what race started this government that we follow today? Um, they were from England. What race were they? English. Well, actually, yeah, I think they <laughs> see, were Spanish. Yeah, hey, you see how good they the white Spanish. man is? You see how good he is? They were Spanish. Spanish. Europeans? Caucasians? Maybe? Well, actually, um, oh. Christopher Columbus went over... Was he, was he a Caucasian? And he got, he got, uh, this is how good the white man is. Give me Psalms 55 and 21. Bring it out. <laughs> the white man is good. Ain't he good, y'all? He Bring sounds so good. He's Look at his smile. Look at his smile. He's so good. So good and pure and white and red and all that good stuff. Right? He's so good. Watch this. The book of Psalm, chapter 55 and verse 21. Read. The words of his mouth were smoother than blood. Oh, that's you right there, man. You smooth as hell, man. Hey, that's the white man. He'd be at the press conference after, after he shot down your son. Yeah, well, we're going to do an investigation. We're going to we're gonna look into the thing, and we're going to find out who did this crime. Bring it up. Uh Meanwhile, not guilty every single time. Yeah. That's how it goes with the white man. That's how it goes with, excuse me, the red man, because you're not white, you're red. That's right, uh, You're red. That's you're right. White. Your father called you white, but you're not white. You're not just color that board. Bring it up. You're red. That's, that's right. right. That's what you are, you're how red. How am I red? Right. Huh? How am I red? If you cough too hard, what color are you going to turn? Bring it out. White. If you sneeze, what color are you going to turn? Red. Are you going to turn the color of this board? Hey, 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 cat. Look at the shirt. Look at him. Hey, look at look at it, look at his shirt, and look at him. Look at him right here. Are you white, sir, or are you red? What do you think? Look at your shirt. Look at your shirt. Look at your shirt. Look, look at your shirt. What color is your shirt? Black. No, the one on the bike, on the scooter. What color is your skin? Put your skin by your put your skin by your shirt. Look, just look. 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 Look at it. Is he? Is he? He's what? He's pink. He ain't white. Nothing. He ain't white. You're pink. You're not white. Pink is a shade of red. That's right. You understand? You ain't white nothing. You turn to red. You're Caucasian. From the Caucasus Mountains That's in Georgia, right. Russia. We are you understand? all. Now, here's my question to y'all. In order to get from under this man's foot, because he has his, as a nation, they have their foot on our necks. That's right. What should we do? What's the solution to stop getting killed by his, by his, 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 his cousins? How, what we? What should we do? Follow the laws and the commandments. Laws, statutes, and commandments. What? Do you agree? Well, let's get some laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me the. Give me. Give me. Uh, give me the Sabbath day. Exodus twenty. So that's now. You're absolutely one hundred percent correct. Because we got to do something. If we remain and we keep doing the same behaviors that we're doing, nothing is going to change in our communities. We're going to keep killing each other, sleeping with each other's women. Um, selling drugs to each other like the young men out here. When are we gonna stop these? Be How are these behaviors benefiting us? They're not. We gotta change. You understand?
it so hard to serve God And why would I say that I'm a Jew, it's how odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's how hard, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.